Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Um, so this is probably my first spline tutorial. I've just been using for about four weeks, maybe four or three weeks, I can't remember. Uh, it's been really fantastic. Um, I've just been trying out different designs and so on. And I figured there are not a lot of tutorials out there, so I might as well make some on the way. Uh, so I have a few I'm gonna be keeping keep making as I go along. Um, so, so far I've had a great experience with, this, with Spline and as I create designs, I'll keep posting them and add some tutorials alongside them. So subscribe and follow the TikTok account to stay up to date. Uh, anyway, intro out of the way, I want to show you how to create uh, water in Spline. So you can use this if you're going to pool, creating oceans, whatever that might be. Um, you have to get a bit creative with Spline because they're not fully developed, it's not yet fully um, all together there yet. Um, and then of course it takes quite a while to learn which I'm just to learn right now uh, but I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly in about 10 minutes or so um, and if you're new to this slide just like me always share uh, some advice if you have any in the comments um, but it also gives you an idea of how to code textures you can create objects all sort of stuff um, and if you're already advanced skip to um, a little bit of time you know, on your bike that if you already know how to use spline and just looking for how to make things happen um, so anyway let's get into it uh, sweet so I have a design here uh, which has uh, some water for reference so you can just see um, so there's a little cup I have a little guy sitting over there uh, and just uh, that's a nice little water reference that you can use to see how I got it started looks pretty good looks like a little pool or something like that um, so that's what we're kind of going to be using as a reference to creating our water texture um, of course the one I made um, took me quite a while, I took me a little bit of experimentation but I got it. Um, so we'll just go here to new file and create a whole new project for this. Uh, we'll just get rid of this, so you can always just get a look around and comfortable with the program. Um, and we'll just give it a new background color so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to go with this one here. Um, and next we're just gonna add a cylinder just get a start so this is gonna be uh, the border of the pool um, so you can stretch it out look around get a good feel of it uh, make sure you're aware about all the different axes um, on spline so that you make sure that your objects are where they're supposed to be um, so just stretch that out a little bit uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty decent shape. I'm just gonna open this up here just a bit more. So I'm gonna get a good look at it. Okay, that should be fine. Just rotate it a little bit so that it's flat. Okay, awesome. You can just press Alt and uh, and that will bring you that little rotation button. You can just rotate your object and just look around a little bit. You want to make sure that your sun is not completely flat. It has a bit of a, a bit of a depth to it, right? Because um, of course all pools do. Um, let's open that a bit more. Perfect. Uh, so make sure you're on your default camera. You don't have any additional camera set. Um, and we're just going to change the color of this. Make sure you have it highlighted. This is the border area. And it's not our actual pool. Um, can I have a little color for now? Um, And then now we're just gonna um, hollow it. So this is where we're gonna add our second texture that's gonna be our water texture. So just hollow it out, pull it to 0 0.95, make sure it doesn't go all the way to the end. I'm just gonna change the color here so that it's a bit more visible where the border is. Um, go with that. um, let's see. Okay, so now we're just gonna get our cylinder and we'll just copy it because it makes it a lot easier rather than creating a whole new cylinder itself because Spline's control is a little bit messy. Um, so you'd rather just copy it um, and then we'll just take out the we'll just take out the hollow part of it. And then we'll just have to slot the flat cylinder into into the, the hollow one and uh, just make sure you rotate to make sure that they are on the same plane. The controls definitely take a little bit to get used to, but after a while you will kind of get the hang of it. And it should be 
just align together kind of like a little jar lid there you go that's not too bad and you can see around should look fairly together you can see it's kind of leaning out a bit of the box but that shouldn't be a problem you can fix that and just name both your objects so that you don't get lost in editing the wrong thing so we have our pool border and that's our pool water awesome. there we go so it looks good so far um, we're just gonna give it a give our pool border just a bit more depth just so that um, this one looks like a nice little pool and that the water doesn't when we start using the displacement, we um, want to make sure that it's not kind of leaking out of the pool border because then it won't look, it won't look quite as tidy as it should. Okay, awesome. Let's pull that up a bit. And we'll just bring our pool water up. And we just have, that should be fine. Might have to shrink it just a little bit in it. And there we go. Perfect. It's like a bit of a jar lid. That's kind of the idea you kind of want to get. Um, sweet. So now we're going to go into designing the materials and the textures and adding them to it. So we're first going to start with the texture itself. Um, but first, let's just change the color of the inside. Make that blue. Make sure we have a. Dip. We can see what's what. Make sure your colors are right so that you can differentiate between your objects. Um, then, so you just want to go into Google and look for a water texture. Look something as realistic as possible so that your water kind of doesn't look too pixelated or you know like the the, the resolution doesn't doesn't mess it up too much um, so right now i have this texture here um, i'll probably put a link into it in, in the in the description if i don't then um it's gonna go find one on youtube or on, on google uh, so we are gonna make sure that it is set to it's set to uv uh, because you want to make sure yeah, make sure it is set to UV um, because all the other ones will kind of mess up the make up mess up the resolution it won't look quite as clean um, and it very very weird it doesn't look like how I want it to be so then we're gonna make and this is an important part is make sure that it is set to mirror in your wrapping and not clamp because once you put it in clamp when the texture moves it's gonna create those little lines on the side of it um, just because it will run out of a reference to see, like to see the sides of the of the image. So you want to make sure it's on mirror, so that it's mirroring everything. And when you move, you have a nice clean water texture moving around in every angle that you choose to move it to. Um, so that's looking pretty good right there. Um, awesome. Um, and next, we're gonna add our displace features. This is gonna create our wave effect. Um, but first we'll just put it there and then we'll go into our states. We want to make sure we create a new state here. Um, so you just have to go up to states, click the plus button um, and that will be a state one. So now we're going to be working in state one. Make sure it's selected and we're going to hit make sure our type is start. Um, and then uh, make sure it's working on the pool water and in state one. We're going to put a cycle on yes, rewind yes and repeat yes. Uh, and then increase the duration to about 10 seconds or so. Depending if you want to make a GIF, you're making a video, whatever that might be. Um, so we're going to just increase the offset by a bit. So it's going to create that wavy effect that we're looking for. Uh, and just increase it up a, by a little bit. So you can use the same number of pixels, about 500. Um, and you can move it on whatever axis you want because that's going to create that, that wave effect. So you want waves to be everywhere, right? On every axis. So just put 500 everywhere um, and then we're gonna increase we're gonna increase the scale of the of the displacement so we're just gonna put that up to 10 right there um, and then we're gonna go to texture and increase the offset because that's gonna show that the water is moving back and forth um, and you can put that to three it shouldn't be too bad um, okay so, uh, and let's just test it out. Uh, not too bad, right? It's kind of got that. It's a bit too fast right now. Um, you can't really see too much of the wave effect. You can see a bit of it, uh, depending what angle you look at. But uh, we can fix that up very quickly. 
uh, just need to modify a few settings, but that's that's a start. So you kind of get the idea right now of how we how we can make that water texture happen. Okay. So let's go to displacement and we'll just increase that a little bit more just so you can get um, the wave effect, right? And so we'll increase um, we'll increase the displacement scale first, the main the main scale itself by right? just a bit. Make sure that you're careful that your water is not leaking out of your border. Um, and then we'll actually increase the scale to, hmm, I think we'll increase it to about, let's say 20. You can always adjust it with your arrow um, and you can just, or you just press there and change the number. So 20 should be fine depending how much, how much wave you want out of it. Could be calm water, could be maybe it's a windy, a windy uh, setting that you have. Uh, but I can increase it a little bit more and you can see already it's starting to wave a lot more than before. Um, okay, what's next? Okay, next we'll just, uh, we're gonna decrease the offset, take off the offset from um, from the texture in terms of the texture and the material. Um, I'm gonna take that off just so that the water looks a bit more stable. Um, drop that to zero and yeah it's a little bit better it looks a bit more natural you know just a calm day at the pool um, I can just rotate around have a look at it and you can see the waviness every time it moves you have a little bit of that waviness happening and it's a lot better than when we started um, yeah it should be should be good um, let's see. Uh, in terms of your states, make sure that everything is all together and that you're working in state one, because otherwise it will not work at all, because um, that creates the animation effect, right? Um, and make sure it's on ease in, ease out, and so you can even test out and see if what happens when you take when you put cycle repeat and rewind or no. You'll see that it's a bit more hiccupy; it's not as smooth as you as it should be. Um, so yeah, we have that. Yeah, we you pretty much have your have your pool right there, um, nice and clean. Not too complicated either. Um, I know the story took a while, so uh, but you mostly got what you were looking for. So that's that's your water texture. Um, if you do make one, make sure to tag me in it. Uh, that's Two Face Designs. Um, if you're looking for more tutorials, make sure that you leave a comment. Let me know what you're looking to learn about. Um, I'm also learning this, we're all learning this together, um, and if you make a creation, let me know, just tag me in it. Um, other than that, I'll see you later.